Hello, I'm the Offshore Organ Builder and this is a video about tying a bow tie. Most people may want to know how to tie the conventional black tie for a formal event, but this is rather difficult to see on a video because it's black. So I'm going to show you how to tie a bow tie with a lighter colored tie, but it's the same method that you use for either. Bow ties have identical ends and they are a fish shape if you imagine the tail here of the fish and the body of the fish there. It doesn't matter which way around you put them. But you must do everything in front of a mirror so you can check what's going on. So this uh, video is a mirror image. That's my left side. I would normally tie a bow tie with the collar down but it's easier to see with the collar up and it's perfectly possible to tie it with the collar up and then put the collar down afterwards. And you probably find it easier anyway to tie the tie with the collar up. So I'll start with the collar up when the buttons of the shirt fastened. Put the tie around your neck, run it back and forth a couple of times to make sure that it's nicely positioned on the collar. And to get the relative length correct, start by putting left over right and the part which is now in my left hand, slide the tie around your neck until the very top of the fish sits just in front of the collar button. Now, without letting the tie slide at all on your neck, you can bring the two of them apart now, the two parts apart, to open up a gap here. And with your right hand, take this part of the tie and tuck it through that gap from underneath and bring it up. And then, keeping it quite vertical, tighten the tie onto the collar button. And the part that's now hanging down, again, should have the body of the fish just touching the knot, and the knot should be in front of the collar button. You can't tighten the bow tie onto your collar after this stage, so you make sure that it's reasonably firm. As a precaution that you've got things right, if you bring the front part of the tie down, and compare it with the back, it should be hanging distinctly lower than the back. So that's about correct. It varies slightly between ties. You don't need the front part at the moment. Usually get rid of it by putting it over your shoulder. Imagine a line across the body of the fish here. Hold with your left hand the tail of the fish shape and put your finger of your right hand, your index finger, across that line but from the back and keeping a certain amount of tension on it, lift the material up into that position with the waist part between the body and the tail in front of the collar button. Now we've got a bow shape and I'll shortly be putting my thumb behind this part of the material and the thumb is going to lie just on the top edge of the bow like that. I'll show you now because it's difficult to see when I actually do it. So we reach that stage of holding the back bow shape in position across the collar. Now bring the second part of the tie down. Make sure that it hangs down nicely here and is nice and smooth without any creases. Some bow ties are very wide here and it's difficult to make a, a good neat knot with a wide bow tie at this point. And if you want to, you can always reduce that width by pinching the material in half and drawing it down like that and tying it in that position. But this bow tie is narrow enough here, so I'm not going to do that. Having got to this stage, slide the thumb in from above in the way I've showed you before and slide it in and it actually pushes its way right through the, the top of the of the uh, bow. If I fold this part in my right hand over, you can see the thumb sticking through. And it's making a space which I will now need because the next move is to put a finger in front of the body of the fish that's hanging down and turn it and push, placing it on top of the thumb, push through the material through that hole. I've taken the thumb out of the way. Push it through. Now, the bit of 
tie which is actually touching my um, index finger here that's the part that actually will show on the front so having pushed it through until the tail is about halfway in take your finger out and make sure that you show that part which was touching the finger to the front so not that way but that way is how it must be and then transfer everything over into your right hand and you can see there's the material that I've just tucked through starting to come through pull it through with your left hand it's a folded piece so that you can if you want get your fingers through there pull it through not too tightly just make sure it comes through and that's the left side of the bow on this side of the tie at the back so you can now fold that across that actually is the actual tying process done but of course the tie isn't correct because it needs to be finished principally it needs to be tightened each side has got a single piece of material and a folded piece of material and they're on opposite sides front and back the folded piece is on the right at the front and on the left at the back if you get hold of the folded pieces and pull them gently the knot in the middle starts to tighten don't pull it through so far that you lose the tail at the back pull that tail back again and tighten a little more if you like it's a matter of experience as to just how you how tight you get the knot there the, the, across the middle it varies between ties now the tie is now not uh, not bad at all um, yeah it's quite symmetrical at the back if you want to make one part bigger than the other say at the back then of course you can pull it one way or the other it will slide through just to make sure you haven't twisted anything by the way make sure that if you get hold of the single piece at the top and pull make sure it is the top part of the of the tie which is pulling through if you find that this part's moving underneath then you'll have to twist this around but this tie is correct so you can get it symmetrical and if you need for instance to make um, the front section of the bow bigger you can do that by holding everything in the left hand firmly putting your fingers into the loop on the front and finding wh whether it's the front or back section which tightens the knot actually it's the back one just give a little gentle tighten and that will tighten the knot and make this bigger so you may want to um, readjust it backwards and forwards and you can adjust the back section in the same way the loops on the left hand side there on the back section so hold everything in the right and if you you'll find out which section actually tightens the knot and pulls the material through a little and makes this a bit bigger so by adjusting in that way you can get front and back bows to be the same and when you think they are pretty well the same hold them together in their ideal spot in their ideal position and stretch them and smooth the material out stretch it horizontally up and down and there you have the tie suitably tied if uh, I'm looking at it and I think well, maybe that's a bit big I can always pull it through just a little bit hold a knot if you want on that side there's various ways you can adjust it now all that remains is to put the collar down you can uh, bring the tie out at the front or you can wear it actually under the collar but there we have it the tie should lie nice and flat on the collar it shouldn't be sticking out and there's your bow tie correctly tied I hope you found that useful if you have any comments to make please leave them you may wish to see my other video on tying an ordinary necktie it's called how to tie a tie fully explained there are some uh, suggestions in there which you might find useful even if you're confident in tying a tie that way so good luck with your tie tying and goodbye